guys, today I'm going to do a video about one of the birthday presents I got yesterday, which is the Clever Cutter. It's like this knife and cutting board, and you're supposed to just be able to... So I'm excited to try that, and then I thought I'd do a recipe at the same time. Tonight for dinner I am making chicken and dumplings. Um, and I have all the ingredients ready to go. Um, it's a can of cream of chicken. I usually always like to get like the, the low sodium, um, kind of heart healthy reduced fat, but this is what was on sale. Um, cream of celery, a can of low sodium chicken broth. Um, now that's what the recipe calls for, and then it just calls for chicken and then biscuits later. Well, this is one of the only times my family will eat vegetables, so I also add a can of corn. Um, I love adding celery to crock pot recipes because they're so soft my family can never tell I have them in there. Um, and then carrots. Now I normally get full size carrots but I had to go to Target for uh, vegetables last time um, and all they had were the baby carrots so I'll be using these. I'm going to do a close up so you can see everything as it's going in. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cream of celery on the bottom of the crock pot so that the chicken doesn't stick. So I do that and I'll just kind of spread it around. Now normally I use um, chicken that has been thawed already, however I didn't know until about two minutes ago that I wanted chicken and dumplings for, <laughs> for dinner. So, because um, what I usually do is I wait until chicken breast goes on sale and then I will um, buy it in bulk and then I'll package them individually. So this is uh, two breasts. You can do more, but since I do the vegetables I do a little bit less, so this is... And then um, try out my clever cutter. I'm gonna cut the end off and put it over here. Ooh. And then I'm gonna let's see how it works. <gasps> Ooh, it's just like a commercial. Now, this celery I got last week, so it's not the most firm celery. It's starting to go a little, a little soft. So, we better try this carrot. Cut the end off. <gasps> wow, it actually works. What? I'm so excited. Honey, it works. Okay. Because I always see these things on, well, I mean, we don't get any TV channels. We only watch DVDs and um, Amazon Prime. But I always, like, see it on infomercials and stuff, or, like, hear about it, or, like, you know, on Facebook feeds and stuff. So, oop, got to put these over here to the end. And I always wonder if they're, if they really work. Well, so far this one works. This one's doing two at a time. It's a little bit more difficult. <gasps> wow, this is so cool. And I don't think with baby carrots, I don't think you actually have to cut things off. I just do it out of habit. Right. Well, as you can see, it works. Um, let me just go ahead and cut these real quick. Okay, all my vegetables are cut. Okay, love the clever cutter. My hand is super, super sore from cutting this amount of vegetables. So, <laughs> do with that as you will. And now I do the can of corn. Now again, the recipe that I originally got this from did not add any vegetables. So as a result, my crock pot is very, very full um, when I'm finally done cooking it. Or when I'm sorry, when I'm finally done adding the ingredients and the uh, food is done cooking. Uh, now a lot of that is like the broth and the G 
juice and things like that. So it's not all food. Um, I know some people are concerned about having too much food, um, you know, because it's hard to make recipes that are just enough. This is great for my husband, myself, my four and a half year old, and my one year old. There's usually a little bit of leftovers, but not too much. So, so I have added all the ingredients that I have shown you. The can of cream of celery, the can of cream of chicken, the can of corn, the celery, the carrots, the chicken. So they are all in here. Now what makes it dumplings is later we have a, let me get it, and I will show you this later, you have a can of refrigerated biscuits. And so what you do, and again I'll show you again later, is after this is cooked, um, I usually do it on low for about six hours, because um, again the chicken just falls apart at that point and it, it, the chicken never gets overdone, it never has for me. Um, I might do it a little bit longer today because the chicken is frozen. But basically you let it cook and then you take um, how many ever biscuits that you want? I usually do five of the eight, and you cut each biscuit into nine. So cut, 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 and then you cut a biscuit, you stir it in, cut a biscuit, stir it in. Uh, and then you put the lid back on and cook it on high for another hour, and that makes the biscuits cook and makes it dumplings, and it is delicious. So we're going to put this... that into the crock pot and again I put mine on low it's plugged in I made the mistake once when cooking this I did not plug it in so I came home super excited about chicken and dumplings and had to throw it away because I didn't plug it in um, I put it on low for again six to eight hours depending on um, how much now again this is going to kind of puff up as it cooks and then um, you'll add the biscuits later and that makes it really really full Okay, I will see you guys a little bit later when I put the biscuits in. All right, a few things that you can add to the chicken and dumplings to flavor it. Um, I, in the past, have used chopped onions, um, pepper, kosher salt. Well, salt in general I don't usually do because the chicken, uh, cream of chicken, cream of celery, and the broth all have enough salt for my family, but you could add a little salt. And also, if you put a tablespoon or two of butter, it makes it... Um, more rich. However, being pregnant and not being able to stomach a lot of stuff, I chose not to spice mine at all. <laughs> I figured it was safe uh, to do that. Okay, I just want to let you guys know that I did find another bag of, like a smaller bag of frozen chicken breast in my freezer. I'm going to add one more chicken breast in here because there's about this much room, which is more than I normally have. I, I can add another chicken breast. I thought there wasn't going to be room because I added extra carrots and celery this time, but there is. So I'm going to put one more. So there's going to be a total of th three chicken breasts in the um, chicken and dumplings crock pot recipe. Okay? So I'm just going to add one more. just want to let you know. Okay, you can't really see it, but since the chicken was frozen, I've been cooking it on, cooking it on high for about five hours. So what I'm doing now is I'm checking to see if I, it's ready to put the biscuits in. And how I see is if the chicken comes apart easily, if it shreds, because you do need to shred it before you do the biscuits, then it's usually, yeah, see this is not quite ready to add the biscuits. So, it's been on low for about an hour. I'm going to put it back on high for probably about an hour, and then I'll check it again to see if um, it's ready for the biscuits. Okay, so this is done because the chicken is shredding. And you can shred it as little or as much as you want. I tend to like the bigger chunks, so I can pick them out for Emily. Um, she doesn't really do soups and stuff. So, I'm just kind of give it a stir. Six grams biscuits. And I cut two strips. So, 
and then two on each of those strips. So it makes it into nine per biscuit. And then you'll see, you just take them, drop them in. Sorry, it's easier with two hands, but my tripod doesn't work very well. And then you stir it up, and I'll show you what it looks like in there. Okay, and this is what it looks like when they're all stirred in. I'm going to put the top back on and leave it on high for one more hour. Okay, it's been about an hour. Now again, I said that when I make this, it, it's really full. So you can see the biscuits have fluffed up. Um, I decided to use all eight um, biscuits today in here because the broth was a little brothy, a little runny. So I wanted the extra biscuits to thicken it up and it looks like it did. So this is what it looks like when it's all done. I'll go ahead and turn this crock pot off and I'll show you what it looks like all in a bowl. Okay, here's the end result. My husband likes the dumplings best, so he has mostly dumplings. And I like the carrots and the vegetables best, so I have mostly vegetables. Hi! So, this is our dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and my demonstration of the Clever Cutter.